Overwhelmed? Yes. Been going at it for a few days with Leica, and I just get more amazed every time I turn a corner, every time I go into a new meeting, every time I walk into the Leica store. There is a lot of Leica, and one of the Leicas that we're going to talk about now is the Leica S camera. With me today is Tony Fesner, correct? Correct. And you're the product manager for this? I'm the product manager. A product manager for the Leica S. Exactly. Now, the Leica S caught the industry by storm a number of years ago when it came out because it was a new entry into the medium format business. Uh, the medium format arena is one that's not understood by a lot of people, but Leica figured it out. And of course, there's obviously a lot more entries in you know, the last few years, but Leica established themselves with a very cool camera. And you know, it's a camera that almost feels like a giant DSLR, but it's not. So I'm gonna let Tony tell us a little bit about the development of this camera, and then we'll go into some of the features and also talk about uh, the wide range of lenses that you have for this, so. Exactly, thanks. Um, so we started uh, the, with the idea of this uh, camera system in uh, 2007. And we sat down with uh, photographers and uh, assistants, uh, post-production artists, and uh, the whole uh, uh, pro uh, photo production chainers. They came to the com com uh, conclusion that the camera should uh, go highest priority for uh, image quality, then for, for speed to um, make various uh, application uh, uh, possible, and um, they want to go also for uh, moving imaging because they say or they saw that uh, their clients demand not only high-end uh, still imaging, they also need some um, moving content. Because we see that uh, new media or adv advertising is changing in direction new me media and they uh, need some, some uh, moving images there. The sensor size is uh, 45 by 30 millimeter sensor. We provide a 37.5 uh, 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 megapixel and um, we uh, still allow the frame rate uh, up to 3.5 uh, frames per second. So a dynamic uh, uh, fashion shoot is possible or uh, dynamic uh, uh, commercial uh, uh, projects are possible with it, or even uh, uh, nature or sports photography. So it's the fastest the medium format uh, uh, system in the market at the moment. Additionally, we provide a full HD on the, on the whole medium format sensor. Uh, together with the Leica S lenses, these high-speed lenses, it's a quite unique uh, cinematic look. The, the look is really different and really nice, yeah, yeah. specifically when we uh, see it in some fashion work and portrait work. It really is pretty yeah. incredible. Uh, and it would be such an easy camera to use because it feels so good. And you know, the ergonomics, the thought of mm. you know, cutting out the area there and actually having a thumb rest on the back of the camera. Yeah. Also, as we discovered with some of the other cameras, you forgot to put labels. But you know, this is innovative in the way you've done this and it gets to be pretty intuitive uh, at the end. So. One of the things I can't help but notice, specifically because I worked with the SL camera mm -hmm. recently too, is that you know one takes from the other. So the SL, yeah. you know, essentially, if you look down on both cameras, you know, they've almost got the same configuration of uh, dials and knobs and so forth, and you know, the same configuration on the back. Absolutely. So we want to make it for our customers as convenient uh, as possible, and uh, therefore we have uh, uh, decided to go for an. Uh, operation element uh, platform and uh, yeah it's uh, the professional DNA uh, mm -hmm. inside this camera and SL. So and one of the differences too this has got uh, SD and a CF card uh, so you, you can shoot to both. Exactly. So one of the things that Leica has also done very well is uh, design their batteries into the cameras and this one's no different so to get this battery out what do I do? Yeah, you just have to uh, put uh, step one here and then you tap it and uh, it's a second step and then we have the battery outside. One reason for it, it's uh, uh, definitely it's a ceiling of this uh, camera and uh, also, also the lenses. And um, yeah, that was uh, the idea behind this design. What's nice about the fact that it doesn't drop out completely is if you were like this and you hit the switch, yeah. 
you know, it doesn't fall out onto the ground. Yeah. It, you know, you can still change this if it's on the tripod, but yeah. you know, you at least can hold on to it and grab it and pull it down the rest of the way. So that's pretty smart thinking. You've got the LCD screen at the top. Mm -hmm. Uh, dedicated video button. Exactly, exactly. The eyelets are designed into the uh, camera itself, so nothing protrudes. You know, no matter where you run your hands, you know, there's no protrusions. And what protrusions there are in this one big dial is such that you know, it's minimal and it's right where you would want to put it. So naturally, if I'm going to hold this camera, it's so well designed that I can control one knob with my index finger and the other with my thumb finger mm -hmm. and find a good, comfortable place to take them and put it so it's not in the way when uh, I'm in operation. Very, very well thought out. This is a DSLR, though, meaning it's not a mirrorless system. So there's still a mirror in this, and it's got an incredible viewfinder also when you use it. Absolutely. So. Um we decided in this uh, generation that we uh, provide uh, this optical view viewfinder. It's uh, actually it's a third uh, camera generation, and one of the USPs of this uh, system is definitely the super super large and and brilliant and bright uh, optical uh, viewfinder, and it's uh, like a like a real life viewfinder. So why should we uh, change this? So uh, we go we go for the optical viewfinder. So and, and like it's a, really uh, very special to look through and it's very, very, yeah. it's almost like if you take your eye away, you're not really seeing any difference other than the fact that you've got a, a, a viewfinder frame around uh, it. Absolutely, and to be honest, with the high-speed lenses, with a, with a, even with a, a 100 millimeter mm. with a, a aperture or S-stop 2.0, you can focus manually with this uh, viewfinder. We have additional uh, viewfinder screens, uh, um, and grid screen for it, and um, a micro prism screen, so you can really focus manually if uh, you want that. And we have a nice uh, focus indicator on the bottom, uh, so you can use it as well as an, so it'll, it'll uh, light uh, up when you when focus it's assistant. Focusing. Exactly. One of the things that's changing very rapidly, Tony, is the medium format marketplace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's like to see? Yeah, we see uh, we see a growing market there. Uh, we have a new player uh, since uh, Photokina uh, 2016. Um, we see new product lines, um, and we see uh, especially a lot of interest and focus on the medium format market, uh, and uh, we see it quite positive. So we are satisfied with uh, with, with our uh, Leica S system uh, business uh, development. And we see a lot of uh, young photographers, young uh, customers stepping up from 35 mil to medium format uh, system um, because they want to differentiate from, from uh, their competition. And uh, we see a lot of uh, interest, especially in the market, in the field of the uh, uh, passionate uh, uh, amateur photographers. And uh, of course, our, our Leica pros uh, who is still uh, uh, quite interesting in, in so our So your, your future is looking pretty bright. Uh, I mean, there's we, a lot we, of potential. We, we, we will see uh, how, how it uh, works out, but what I can uh, tell from Leica side is uh, the Leica S system is uh, one very, very important strategic uh, product line in our Leica portfolio. And um, it's, it's a, 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 the technology leader. We have a technology platform in our development. And uh, we had here this camera with, with, uh, with the latest generation CMOS uh, sensor, with the latest uh, generation uh, imaging processor, Maestro 2. And um, we keep absolutely 100% on, on, uh, on, on this camera system. And, um, yeah, we, we listen to the market, we listen to our customers, we join a lot of photo shootings and uh, look how they yeah. handle the equipment and uh, we try to get better and better. And uh, yeah, there will be a lot of uh, uh, future uh, things. Ah, a lot of future things. Exciting times and uh, you must be having a blast doing all this, so that's pretty Absolutely. cool. Absolutely, a, a lot of work to do. Good. Yeah. Now, no camera is complete without lenses. We're talking a stable of lenses here. Nine lenses? Ten. 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 I only got Indeed. Ten <laughs> I'm missing lenses, one here. Yeah. But. So, so tell us about the lenses. So uh, the wide range, what you have, zooms or fixed and, and why? So we launched the system uh, in, in, uh, at Photokina 2008. Uh, say start was... Uh, um, in, in 2009, and um, from there on, we had uh, 
to develop the whole toolbox. You know, mm -hmm. we had uh, we, we listened to the market and uh, de started the development of all these lenses. We came from 24 millimeter super wide angle, the 30 millimeter, 35 millimeter, uh, 45 millimeter. It's like a 35 millimeter in Equivalent, full frame. Yep. So it's one of the most uh, uh, popular Leica lenses. The 70 millimeter standard lens. Um, we have the 100 uh, super high speed lens with uh, f-stop uh, 2. Um, the 120 macro, the APO macro uh, indeed, um, 120 tilt shift lens and 180. Um, this camera system uh, provides a dual shutter uh, system, it means we have on one side we have the focal plane shutter for super uh, short exposure times uh, within the camera and we have six um, central shutter or leaf shutter lenses uh, in our, our portfolio as well for high speed very sync. High speed sync for short. And you can go up to uh, how far? A thousand? Time. A thousandth of a second? A thousand of a second. So right. flash photography, outdoors, thousands of a second with the central shutter. Exactly. For Perfect. on location shootings, handle the, the, uh, the backlight, uh, make uh, dramatic uh, cool. uh, skies, etc. Uh, and so on, you know. Now, uh, this is the and lens I like. Yeah. Look at that yeah. thing. This is a tilt shift lens for medium format. Oh, it, it's light, it's got knobs and dials. What photographer wouldn't like this lens? Yeah, as a, a photographer working uh, in, the, in the studio, doing, doing some uh, product uh, shots, uh, some pack shots, say so use this uh, uh, lens. Or uh, we have also some, some um, photographers in the, in the, in the art uh, or in the fine art field using it for uh, landscape or even portrait. Yeah. So it's, it's a quite a, a specialty in our uh, lens portfolio, so it's clear. And you know, it's a, it's a handcraft. You really uh, have to be skilled uh -huh. to shoot with this guy, you know? So uh, you, you, you need uh, a photographic knowledge to handle yeah. this. But then, you know, the kind of customers that will be buying like a camera most likely have a pretty good photographic knowledge. So yeah. this, this is a, uh, a broad system, it's used a lot by a lot of the fashion and uh, commercial photographers. And one of the ways that Leica has done in many different areas is they've done something special. And uh, um, Tony gave me this as a, a gift, but this is the S Magazine. And it's one whole thick magazine just with photography done uh, on the, and by the S camera. So uh, an exceptional good-looking system, and I think this also bodes to the fact that, you know, while Leica's making their cameras and so forth, they're not only out there, you know, listening to the customers so they can develop future products, but they're supporting the ones that they do have out there. So and this is one side, the other side is, uh, it's not like we produce cameras to produce cameras, so we want that uh, photographers use our equipment to great projects with it, uh, uh, produce uh, uh, in the best case art and, uh, uh, and we hope that we, so they can earn a lot of money with, uh, with uh, their photography and we want to support their business. So it's, for us it's, a, it's a best, um, the best uh, payback if we see uh, the guys shooting with, with our product. You know, it's, it's quite our motiv motivation to, to uh, work further on, on uh, this uh, product. Well, I have to say thanks. You know, we, we had a lot of time to talk before the, uh, the yeah. video started here to <coughs> learn more about the S system. And uh, I know you gave up a good part of your day for us. I want to say thank you for that. Thanks. It's a pleasure. And uh, thanks you've so got a, a great camera system. All of us are going to be interested to see where it goes, what new lenses come, where, what like has got next for the S. But uh, it's quite a camera system. Once again, you know, visit a dealer or take a look at this camera uh, or compare all the cameras and try to figure out you know, the mix of these cameras for your needs and uses because Leica certainly has a wide range of cameras that uh, can work for that. So I want to thank you again, Tony, and I want to thank our viewers. And I'll see you on the Loomis Landscape.